17, we are in line 17. I should not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I'm telling you, I have a good friend, uh, Tiffany, that I'm telling you, she just knows when I'm having a hard and rough time and I'm going through something. And then, and she'll, she'll text, you know, this scripture to me. I should not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Even uh, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, this this was one of the scriptures that she had given me about I should not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. And I'm still alive, praise God. And I'm declaring the works of the Lord through this, uh, through this journey through the book of Psalms. And he allowed me to do this. And so I will continue to declare his works. And I just thank God for this opportunity to use me in this way. It hasn't been an easy road, guys. It hasn't been an easy road. But I, I just thank God. I thank God that he's true to his word. I thank God for just being God all by himself. And then even though I feel surrounded and stuff like that sometimes, um... God is taking care of the situation. Even though I feel like I'm drowning, God is, is is keeping me afloat. Even though it feels like I'm in a fire, I'm not even being burned. Because he's God like that. And it's just going on and say like in Psalm 115, he's God like that, yet, yeah, but I trust him. I have to trust him too. Something I have to do. I have to trust that he is with me and I have to trust in his word to say that I should not die but live and declare the works of the Lord and whatever your situation that you're going through with right now and it feels like you're at the end of your rope it feels like uh, you have no hope it feels like you want to overdose on dope but don't do it. Don't do it. You will live. You will not die. And you will declare the works of the Lord. Whatever it is that God has called you to do, you do it. Even though it may feel like you're dying, get up and do it anyway. I'm not 100%, but I'm doing what God is strengthening me and, and uh, giving me the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding to do. To do. And so, and it's the same way with you. Make that first step and God is going to uh, be there right there with you too. And, 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 and walk you through whatever you're going through with. He really is. He, I mean, this is... <laughs> the book of Psalms really is for us. I'm telling you, written hundreds of years ago. Thousands of centuries. Well, a couple of centuries. Three, four thousand, three or four centuries. Three or four millennia. All right. But... God is the same. And these feelings and these emotions and everything that these men have experienced, we experience today. Every, and that's why in, in the introduction it says, every conceivable uh, emotion is in this psalm. It really is. It really is. And so um, that sends us to Habakkuk 112. Habakkuk 112. That says, Are you not from everlasting, O Lord my God, my Holy One? We should not die. O Lord, you have appointed them for judgment. O Rock, you have marked them for correction. And so, no. Because God is from everlasting. That means that God isn't going to die. And if we're made in his image, or since we're made in his image, we won't either. 
We have to trust and believe it. Oh, Lord, my God, my Holy One, we should not die. Because God is from everlasting. So why should we die? Doesn't matter what kind of uh, death sentence someone gives you. You hang on to Psalm 118.17. I should not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. And if you have to put that on an index card and recite it to yourself, keep that hope about living and declaring the works of God. I'll see you in the next segment.